All right guys, I'm gonna show you how to make these paracord collars. And you can make them in any size. This is a really little bitty one. Just depends on the breed that you have. Even this one, it's still a lot smaller. And uh, it'll just depend on how much you need to start with. It will depend on how big your breed is. So I start out with about 17 inches. I breed Pembroke Welsh Corgis. And um, this, you know, all the way like this fits a newborn really well. So I start out with about 17 inches because you're going to have to cut off a little bit of this and you're going to use some of it in the knots. So I'll show you how to do that. You'll, I use a butter knife and I'll show you that here in a minute. A uh, good pair of scissors and a lighter. And if you can't get a good grip on it, then you'll need some pliers to pull and I'll show you how to use those too. Okay, so here's the paracord. You loop it over itself like this. You just cross it. You take the back piece and you loop it through. See? And then you loop it. When you loop it, you loop it back in front of the other loop. So you've got two loops here. You feed it back through itself and you pull tight. And you make sure when you pull tight that it's good and no gaps in between the knots and if like I said you can't get a good grip you can take the pliers here and you can pull real tight there okay and then you flip it over you want your loose piece here to be on the back side and you'll pull through some of this extra and then you do the same thing on this side you loop it you loop it back in front of the first loop and then you feed it back through itself. And like I said again, if you can't get a good grip, make sure it's all tight here. Okay. Then I get all the slack out, or some of it, most of it. Then you take your scissors and you cut off real close like that. Then you burn it. You can use a torch too, I just have a lighter. And this is where the butter knife comes in handy. Oops. And you're just rolling this. You gotta make sure and get under here because you don't want it to singe to the band because then it won't pull. Okay, you do this side. And if you don't get it good enough, you can always Get it hot again. And there's, I know my phone's not showing it too great, but there you go. And that's how you make them. And then you just pull on this side and pull on that side until you get it to the size you want it, big or small. And like I said, you'll just have to play with the length as far as how much you need to start with to get to the size you want. And this is the 550 paracord.